Is Nick Fowney McVay? Or is he Doug Peterson? In 2018. It's good everybody from the Eagle Chant 1. Listen man. The Philadelphia Eagles are playing one of the best teams probably coming into the link, okay? I ain't going to lie to you. Um, it still hurts me the way we played. The Philadelphia Eagles need to do a better job. Nick Sani had a press conference today. And something jumped out at me in chart. Where are the Philadelphia Eagles identity? Because it sounds like we really don't have one. You know, we're trying to find that, but we don't have that. You know what I'm saying? Miles Sanders only having two cat touches. Game will only for one. You know what I'm saying? Receivers are, 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 are you know, not running routes right. Jail hurts unthrown receivers, man. Nick Sani was asked today, what are your game plan? Now, when you look at Nick Sani, he, he's a very young coach. He's so smart on the podium. But yet, we don't see that when we're out on the field. You know what I'm saying? Is he a puppet? Is is this a Howie Roseman and Jeffrey Lurie puppet? Or is he a real head coach like a Sean McVay? Because his play calling was horrendous. It was one of the worst that I've ever seen. It might have been worse than Doug's. People get so upset with me because I said that Nick Sonny reminded me of Doug Peterson. In a lot of ways he does. Doug Peterson never called a place. It was usually the offense coordinator, and when Doug called a place, it was just very vanilla. Very vanilla. Something has to give this Sunday. You're versus Patrick Mahomes. A young squad coming off of the one that they're in the last division right now. Just like we're in pretty much the last division. These two teams have something to prove, and it's not going to be easy. The Philadelphia Eagles got to get their crap together, yo. When you look at Nick Sani, is he a genius or is he a stooge? He looked like a stooge on Monday night. Now running the football with Miles is only getting two touches. It's still mind-boggling. It still bothers me. I went to a refrigerator... Four separate times. Then Miles Sanders getting into football. I like I ran to the fridge right back and forth more than Miles Sanders running to get into football. That's in, that's embarrassing. He's your best running back. Are there Jeffrey Lurie and how Roseman telling Nick Sahani not to run the football? Because we've seen it in the past when they said to Doug, "Don't run the football. We want you to throw it." Are they saying that to Nick Sahani? Something has to give. You're one and two. You're third in the division. And you just came off a beating versus the Dallas Cowboys. You had a chance to take the division. And you not only squandered the opportunity... You got your shit pushed in. It wasn't even a close game. It was a blowout. All we talked about is, what is this team going forward? Is Jalen Hurts the future going forward? A lot of people say he can't throw. When you look at it, our coaching and put us in the best position for Jalen Hurts to succeed. When you don't run the football, you're not winning. I, I don't know how many times I have to say now, he nods today that you got to win the football. I don't want him just to talk. Show it. You're playing for one of the best cities, the best fans. Show that you deserve that job. A lot of questions go with Nick Sani, man. Did we hire Ben McAdoo? Did we hire another Doug? Not the 2017 Doug. 
the 2016 Doug, the 2018 Doug, the 2019, the horrible play calling Doug. Okay? Doug might have been more of, of a head coach yesterday, I mean, on Monday night than Nick Sarani. Nick Sarani got to get this figured out. Because it's embarrassing. Two catches? I'm sorry, two touches for Miles Sanders? What is your game plan? Now, Nick Sarani said that he, he wants it to be explosive offense and we need to protect the football. Of course, that, that's what you want. But how do you use those in the right decisions, in the right formula? How do you make this team a running oil machine? It's like a car, bro. You need everything to work for a car to start. One missing part can lead to everything going bad. Your tire goes flat. You can't just run on it. You got to get that shit fixed. Who is Nick Ciani? That is the question we are going to find out. Because if he doesn't start winning, fans are going to turn up, turn on him. They're already starting to turn on him. It's week three. No fans is going to put up with that. When you let a Super Bowl champion head coach go, even though I don't think he won, but a lot of people think that Doug really was the genius. We need to figure this shit out. We got the Kansas City Chiefs. They're not, a, they're not going to come in there with just a, a, a game plan. They're going to come in there to do one thing. How do we... How, let's make Jalen Hurts uncoverable more. Let's, let's throw off this team. It's time to bench Derek Barnett. He doesn't know what he's doing. Maybe you need to bench Derek Barnett because he jumps off sides. Play calm horrendous. Jonathan Gann, I'm talking to you. Better play calm, bro. You're supposed to be this genius defensive coordinator. Let me know what y'all think. I'm out.